Welcome to Extreme How To, where today we're installing a radiant barrier system. This product is called Interflex, and it creates a thermal break between the roof and the attic space to achieve a higher degree of energy efficiency. Here's how it works. If you've ever been to a potluck dinner, then you've seen how aluminum foil is used as a means of thermal insulation by acting as a reflective barrier. Similar in concept, a reflective barrier can also be used in homes and commercial buildings to reduce heat transfer and save on heating and cooling costs. On a hot day, the sun heats a home's roof, which radiates heat towards the attic floor. The attic, in turn, radiates heat throughout the house. A hotter attic means a hotter house, so radiant barriers are used to block the sun's rays from transferring heat to your attic. A product such as Interflex Radiant Barrier can reflect up to 96% of the sun's energy, reducing the attic temperatures by as much as 30 degrees. This helps to keep a comfortable indoor temperature as less heat moves through the attic floor into the living area. Furthermore, this two-way reflective barrier behaves similarly in the winter. In cool weather, Interflex helps keep radiant energy from leaving the home, reducing heat loss so you don't have to blast the furnace as much. Interflex is available in flat panels as well as flexible rolls. The product is made from two layers of metallized film laminated and reinforced with a plastic scrim. The panels have thin metal rods that help them friction fit between the roof rafters, either 16 or 24 inches on center. No tools are required to install the panels. Simply insert one edge of the panel against the roof framing where it meets the sheathing then give the panel a slight bow and tuck the other edge against the side of the next rafter. The tension on the backer rods holds the panels in place, creating an airflow gap between the panel and the roof. Start at the bottom of each rafter channel and work your way upward, overlapping the panels by one or two inches. The rolls of the flexible material are for covering oddly spaced rafters or complicated framing. Simply unroll the material and pull it tight, tacking it to the underside of the roof rafters every few inches with a staple gun. Both the panels and the rolls can easily be cut with a utility knife or heavy-duty snips to make angles or to cover short rafter spans. Installing a radiant barrier is an easy do-it-yourself project that can save a lot in home energy bills.